We're back again, another Penny Hunt and Phil episode. This is episode 36, and we've got boxes 58 and 59 to hunt in hopes of finding something for the album. Hey everyone, this is Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, we have a two box hunt today. I'm completing the third box of Ben's trade with me from the state of Minnesota. So we've already done two of those boxes. This is the third one and I have one of my local DFW boxes as well. Now for my box, I had to pop the top to make sure I had circulated scents, which I do, although you wouldn't know by that one. There we go. So we're good to go on that box. And then he only sealed these before shipping. So obviously he knew they were circulated because these have the holes in the bottom and you can see that they are circulated. I think what I'm gonna do is pop open this box here in a second, but I wanna remind everyone that if you haven't watched the first 35 episodes of this Hunt and Fill series, to consider checking out the link down below or up here to get caught up before you see where we're at in the album. Now, for those of you already caught up, you know that the last episode, we failed to make any progress, and I would imagine as we move further along in this series, we'll start having some episodes like that, although we still get to hunt penny boxes, and that's always fun. Now, you'll also recall that we have every scent we need from 1944 through 1999, other than the small date varieties, which I'm always on the lookout for. And then we need quite a few in the 30s and back, although we've made good progress. Now that you're caught up, let me go ahead and move Ben's box forward, and we'll go ahead and do a live opening after I cut this tape off first. Okay, I've scored the tape. I think we're pretty much ready to open it, and it should be a first time open, and it looks like it's gonna be. And we'll just take a quick peek to see if we have any fancy enders on the top sides before we get in the box. All right, let's take a look here. I don't see any obvious wheat scent enders, but I do see a pretty good amount of copper. Let me push it back. We'll begin the hunt. You guys know the drill. I'll be using my Lincoln Penny Coin Hunts mat. I have links to those down below and up here as well, should you want to check out the different mats that I have. And heck, I'm ready to get going. Hopefully, we have lots of good finds or some varieties. Roll number four of Ben's box, and we're going to have a wheat scent. This one is a 52 San Francisco, a 52S up there in Minnesota. Oh, I know it's early, but it feels like there's a lot of copper in these rolls as well. Same roll, we're gonna have an upgrade because I don't remember seeing too many red or red-brown wheat scents in the album, and that's a 1951 Denver in pretty fantastic shape, lightly circulated or stored in a flip that made it have a little bit of a discoloration on the toning, but definitely a red-brown for sure, if not a red. 51D, it's a beauty, should be an upgrader. Roll number six, wheat scent number three already. Obverse face in 1955, Denver. Well, roll number nine might be onto something. I don't see enders, but I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of enders in this roll because we've got a wheat scent right here. So I decided to flatten it out. And then I saw a wheat scent right there. And then I saw a wheat scent right there. And another one right there. So we know we have at least four weed scents in this roll, which will put us at seven on the board. The first one, a 53S. Man, a few S minute weed scents already. That's number four. Number five is a 54S. Holy smokes, we're just getting a lot of S minute weed scents, and that was a nemesis for me for a while. That's number five. Number six is gonna be just a regular 1954, although it's in really nice brown shape. And wheat scent number seven, 56 Denver. Seven wheat scents, unless we find another one after nine rolls. Roll number 13, wheat scent number eight, another 50s, but this one a 51P. Roll 15 is going to have weed scents number 9 and 10. In front of us, we have number 9, and it's a 1955. We'll check it for the DDO. I didn't see it naked eye, and I don't see it under the scope. But we definitely had to take a peek. A little 
fuzziness, but not the DDO. And then weed scent number 10, I saw peeking out from the back and it looks pretty decent as well. Weed scent number 10, a 1954 again. Roll number 18 and we have another 50s weed scent and it's pretty decent looking as well. 1953 Philadelphia. Might actually get some upgrades from this hunt. Same roll and our 12th weed scent is another nice 1953 with a cool patina on it. And I said it earlier, but some of these weed scents look like they were housed in an album or a flip or something. So maybe we'll run into a slight collection dump, but so far it's all been 50s. Roll 20, weed scent number 13. It's a 1946 S. We'll check it for that S over D. Uh, there's a little bit of suspiciousness, if you will, but that's not the S over D. The S over D would have a clear marked line here and roundness of the top of the D down here. And I know you see stuff, but that's not the S over D and that's not even maybe an RPM. That's probably just some damage in there. Either way, Wheat Scent 13 finally got one from the 40s and it's another San Francisco minted. Roll number 23 is going to give us our 14th wheat scent already, and it's an oldie. Unfortunately, it's got some damage, or recent damage on it. 1920 Philadelphia. Luckily, we have it, but awesome seeing a 20s wheat scent. And let me just take a look that there's not a mint mark for some reason that I'm missing. Yeah, I saw that protrusion right there. You can kind of see it. And it uh, looked like it would have been a 20D or something, or even a 20S. You can kind of make out a Phantom S right here, can't you? If you look, your eyes play tricks on you. Either way, it's not a 20S, it's a 1920 with some damage near the mint mark area. But yet again, we have our new oldest of the box. The 14th wheat scent found is a 20s. Same roll, make that 15 wheat scents and that's a 1941. So we will check it for any of the DDOs from that year. There are three of them. I have a video on them and I don't see any doubling on that one. Still, nice to see another oldie in the box. Roll 26, Weed Scent 16. Weed Scent 16, looks like another 1952, but this time from Denver. Roll number 30, Weed Scent number 17, Three off of 20 for the hunt. Another 1951 from Philly. Roll number 34, and we're gonna have weed scent number 18. And it's another 1951, but a Denver. And while I have you here, we can already see it. There's another Canadian. And this Canadian is gonna be 1963, another Laureate portrait. That's eight Canadians, three of them 1964 and older. Roll number 37 is going to give us wheat scent number 19, and it has a little bit of a redness tone to it, so it's a little bit newer, probably in the 50s. And it is, and it's a 54D, and if I recall, we have some really nice 51, 53, and 54s, probably some upgraders. Same roll, and just a few coins later, we've got another 1955. Doesn't appear to be the DDO, although there is a little bit of that poor man's doubling, and sometimes the poor man double dies can get a little bit of value and they're not doubled dies, they're machine doubling. So I, I don't want to say that wrong, but there's a little bit of that poor man's doubling on the second five. They're not ones I hold on to unless they're in BU red condition. Outside of that, we'll still take it. That makes 20 weed cents on the hunt and no 57 or 58s yet. Although we might fill the copper cup with one box. Roll number 38, another nice weed scent reverse for 21 for the hunt. And now we've got the 58. It's a nice enough 58 that I will check it for that DDO. I think there's only one or two or three of them ever found, but either way, I only check the really nice ones since it's such a scarce DDO to look for. We'll take it, 21 weed scents. Roll number 41, weed scent number 22. This one is a 
pretty nice 1947D. We don't need it, but I'll still take it. Rule number 43 is going to give us the wheat scent. We didn't have a 1957 from Denver. Rule number 45 is going to give us our 24th wheat scent. And I had to check because I saw a 195 and I think it's a 54S. So wheat scent 24, another San Francisco minted, and another 54S. 54S confirmed. Same rule, and we sent 25 as another nice 1954 from Denver. Roll 46, we sent 26. And that's going to be a 1945. I think it's Philadelphia, but let's just make sure. No, there is an S on there. 45 S. I'm just so surprised at the sheer number of S minute weed scents in a Minnesota box. Crazy. Well, I was warning if we're ever going to run into some weed scent enders with all the weedies we're getting. And I just grabbed roll number 48 and once again flipped it around and I see another 53 Denver as an ender. Let's get it out of there and see if it has any friends with it. Weed scent 27 is indeed a 53 Denver. Same rule, we're gonna have Wheat Scent 28, and it's our first from the 30s, but as is typical, it's a 1936, or one we already have. Of course, I do wanna double check it for the DDO, and even though there's some damage on this coin, I don't see the DDO. Unfortunately, like I said, whenever we get a 30s, it's one we already have. Well, box 58 from Minnesota was a great box to hunt. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate the trade. That concludes my three Minnesota State penny boxes, and this was the best one of all of them. 28 wheat cents, only two prior to 1940. We have them both, a 1920 and a 1936, both not in that great of shape regardless. But the other 26 wheat cents, we will definitely comb through for some upgraders. We got some red-brown examples, and I'm thinking we have some upgraders in here for sure. We ended with a total of 10 Canadians. Three were the Laureate portraits prior to 1965. We got five 1959s. One's a pretty nice red example. A couple of nicer copper coins. One's a 74S, and I will hold on to that regardless, but we'll check it against the album for sure. And then two 69S, neither of which were the DDOs, but I always pull them out anyway. If you're wondering how he did it on the Copper Cup, I'd say we pretty much filled it up. Yeah, it's not to the rim, but at the end of the day, we're gonna have way too many in this box to overflow that one. So we'll have to dump that out and start fresh on box two. First box down, like I said, I don't think we have additions, but likely some upgrades. I'll bring you guys in on the first find of my DFW box, box number 59 of the series, number two of the hunt. Roll number 56. Wheat scent number 29, a 1953 Denver. Roll number 62, wheat scent number 30. And I think that's a 45. Yes, 1945, we'll just double check for a mint mark. And there could be one there, I don't think there is, but either way, it's a 45 common year and we have all three. Roll 67 out of the 100 roll hunt, and we're going to have weed scent number 31, a 1957 Denver. Roll number 78, and weed scent number 32 is going to be a dandy. Take a look at this oldie. 1928D, that's actually not a bad year in mint. I think we found this one recently, though. Um, could be wrong. It could be one we need either way. It's a 20s with a mint mark. And I will take that all day, 32 wheat cents, four in the second box. Well, we have finished that second box of this two box hunt and my DFW box is one of the lighter boxes I've seen. And not just because it had four wheat cents, but take a look at that copper. There were a ton of zinc cents and I knew when I got to the third or fourth roll and saw a lot more zinc cents than I normally see and such light copper scent finds, it was probably gonna be a tough hunt. That being said, we did add four more. We have 32 for the two box hunt, and that is a good total. Unfortunately, only three pre-1940, and I believe all three we already have. 
While I have you here, I'll go ahead and point this out. We did find a Lincoln scent, and it might be a memorial. It might be a wheat scent. We don't know. It is chewed up. It is undecipherable, and I can't make out the building or one scent on the reverse. Either way, it's copper. Oh, so I'll add it in there. We ended with a total of 12 Canadian cents, so we added a couple more from my box, still the same finds, and a total of 9.59s. We got two nicer cents, including that 59 copper from before, and no 69 S's in my box, and that's what happens when the copper's light. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna have any additions, but we might have a few upgrades. Let me go ahead and grab the album, I'll compare what we have found with what we already have slotted, and I'll bring you back in if we have something to talk about. Well, I've combed through the finds. We don't have any additions. We already had that 1920, and we already had the 28D, as I thought. But we will have six upgrades. Check these out. We're going to upgrade that 58. The one we found is more red. We're going to upgrade the 54S. It's not a lot nicer, but it is nicer. A little more detail. We'll upgrade that. The 54D is more red. That'll upgrade. And the 54P doesn't have the discoloration and the damage on the rim like the other one does. So that'll be upgraded. We're also going to upgrade the 53. It's more of a red example. And the 51D, more of a red example. So one, two, three, four, five, six upgrades, all in frame. Let me plug them in and I'll bring you back with a final look and some final thoughts on the album. Well, we've plugged in the upgrades, and I'm pleased to say that six upgrades is definitely a nice accomplishment this late in the series. And it's great to see some of the red shining now in the 50s wheat scent years, and that makes me happy. Obviously, the mission is still to get the 30s and back, and it seems like every time we find some from the 30s, we seem to already have them plugged in, and that's a bummer. But it doesn't make me mad getting 32 wheat scents, six upgrades, like I said, this late into the series. Hopefully, despite the lack of additions, you guys still found the sheer number of wheat cents found and upgrades enjoyable. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.